Ladies and gentlemen, America is desperate to keep black men in jail at all costs, even if they have to get you on some of the most pettiest things that we see even today. Marijuana is the biggest reason why black men are in jail. Crime is down in America. So anybody that's telling you how horrible crime is and black people are doing this and black, they're lying. Crime is down in America. And if you have access to a computer, you can look these things up yourself. Nobody should have to provide you with anything. Let Google do the talking for you. So... One of the main reasons why I believe they are going to keep hanging on for dear life and jailing black men for marijuana is because of the money that is being made through corporations behind bars. If they let a big bulk of the population of prison go, the prisons will fall. Okay? They they will not be able to keep prisons open if marijuana is no longer a reason for conviction. America jails will fall. Okay? They don't have enough people in there for any other type of crime that can get all of this work done. And you see from the rape convictions, they refuse to jail their own people. And letting black people go means the prison industry falls. Because the bulk of them are in there on marijuana charges. Well, Marilyn Mosby, and I did a video on this, I believe it was probably sometime in February... Um, she came out and said that there were going to be no more marijuana arrests regardless to the amount of marijuana is found on a person or even if they have a past conviction for marijuana. You would not have to worry about being jailed anymore. Well, there were two judges that struck this down. Remember, judges are elected. When these judges come up for their next election, you folks in Baltimore, you need to get rid of them. But just understand, America is going to hang on for dear life to keep black men under these fraud, you know, these little frivolous convictions. And and just remember, it was the same way right after chattel slavery. They had to figure out a way to get you back into free labor. What did they do? They came up with the convict lease program. And who did they jail? Black men primarily. Loitering vagrancy, unemployment, petty shit. Sometimes you didn't have to do nothing. They just wanted to lock you up, just like we see today. You don't have to do anything to get arrested in America. (laughs) Okay, you don't have to do anything wrong. You don't have to break a law. You don't have to do nothing. And you will still get arrested in America. That's how badly they have the system rigged up. These folks are desperate. Judges deny requests by Baltimore State Attorney Marilyn Mosby. And I agree with her. She wanted to dismiss thousands of marijuana convictions. City judges have thrown out the request from Baltimore State's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, to erase convictions in nearly 5,000 cases of marijuana possession. The decision Friday by Circuit Judge 
W. Michelle Pearson and District Judge Kathleen Sweeney strike down one of the boldest and most progressive moves of Mulby's administration. And y'all need to get rid of these judges, y'all, in Baltimore. Y'all need to get rid of these judges. They are elected. So since they are elected, you can vote them out. In an email Monday, Mosby said she was de uh, deeply disappointed. The role that courts play in our society is to be a place of last resort for people who have been wrong, she said. I am deeply disappointed that this ruling did not afford us any opportunity to present legal arguments and essentially eliminated the court from being a safe harbor for those that were harmed by the discriminatory enforcement of marijuana laws. Exactly. Moby said she is, uh, was considering her next move. She had announced in January that she would cease prosecuting cases of marijuana possession, as well as ask the court to throw out thousands of convictions stretching back to 2011. She had called the move um, monumental for justice in Baltimore. In a sweeping legal document, Mosby had asked the judges to throw out about 1,000 marijuana convictions in the circuit court and nearly 3,800 in district court. Sweeney, the district judge answered the 10-page decision that noted Mosby fell short in meeting five requirements for such an order. She wrote that Mosby document a uh, writ of Karam Nobis skimped on details to show how those convicted face significant collateral consequences. One of the five requirements. Wow. Okay. With 3,778 opportunities, the state failed to identify any actual single consequence suffered by these individuals, Sweeney said. What do you mean? What do you mean? When these people are jailed, a lot of times if they have jobs, they lose their jobs. You lose income. You, you cannot be a breadwinner to your family. What do you mean, what did they lose? What would, um, Sweeney, what would they lose if they locked your ass up for something petty? What would be lost? Oh, man, this is right up there with what is blackface. Man, please, y'all, don't fall for this stuff they're doing. The judge found that the request amounted to a blatant uh, conflict because Molesby is bound by oath to defend the state. I tell you what, the state in, in, ain't in danger of nobody because they got some marijuana on them. Get real. Sweeney also noted that 3,778 people would be eligible to have their convictions expunged from the records. Since fiscal year 2015, expungements have spiked from 7,700 to more than 19,000 annually in Baltimore, wrote Sweeney, citing court records. Mosby herself had once asked police to crack down on drug dealers and users in West Baltimore. In March 2015, the judge wrote, now this same state attorney claims that drug enforcement in Baltimore City, presumably her own efforts, have had a desperate impact on African Americans, Sweeney wrote. It has. Y'all need to get rid of Sweeney. Whoever she is, y'all need to get rid of this judge find out when she's up for election again and y'all need to go out in droves and get rid of her. Mold, Molesby had argued that 
marijuana convictions have saddled thousands in Baltimore with criminal records and frustrated their job searches. She has said these arrests disproportionately affected minority neighborhoods in Baltimore. Baltimore police arrest about one person a day for marijuana possession as Moldby promises to end prosecutions. Nationwide, African-Americans are four times more likely than whites to be arrested for possessing marijuana, which is stupid, which is stupid. Again, ladies and gentlemen, they got to get that prison work done. They don't care if they got to get you in there for doing nothing. That's how desperate they are to keep the prisons bustling with people. The ratio jumps to six times more likely in Baltimore, Mosby wrote in a report about her new marijuana policy. Olivia Nuggle of the Nonprofit Marijuana Policy Project in D.C. stood alongside Mosby at the January announcement. She called the judge's decision a shame. The unfortunate news underscores the urgent need for the General Assembly to end marijuana prohibition and start regulating cannabis for adult use, she wrote in an email. The court's decision also highlights the need to include a component that will automatically expunge criminal records for past convictions. The sooner, uh, the sooner the legislature acts, the sooner these needless marijuana possession arrests can end and the sooner those with past convictions can move on with their lives. Though Mosby pledged to stop prosecuting people for possession, um, for possessing marijuana, city police said they already have shifted their focus away from pot smokers. Shortly after Mosby announcement, the police spokesman, uh, spokesman said the department was arresting about one person per day for marijuana possession. That, that's still too many. You shouldn't be arresting anybody. Marijuana is being legalized in America every day in different states. You shouldn't be even doing one person a day at this point. Officers arrested 363 people last year, 339 people in 2017, 311 people in 2016 for marijuana possession alone, according to the department. Mosby aligned herself with some of the most progressive district attorneys in the country with her marijuana policy. District um, Philadelphia, District Attorney Larry Krasner, told his prosecutors last year to reject charges of marijuana possession regardless of weight. Last July, Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. announced he too would stop prosecuting marijuana cases. Meanwhile, public opinion has swung in favor of legalizing marijuana. Ten states and D.C., have legalized the use of marijuana by adults. Maryland lawmakers decriminalized possession of up to 10 grams of marijuana in 2014. Well, you know what? You need to go a step further and stop locking people up for that reason. It's stupid. It really is. You know, you would think because it's becoming legalized, they would move away from this. But as I stated before, if they can no longer get you on marijuana, black man, they will come up with something new and something even more petty to put you in there for. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.